bringing people together for a few days to do intensive training with them, to share our methodology and share our resources and have you all come in as experts in your own communities and share your expertise about your communities with each other and with us, we're building you know, a cohort of people around the country who go back into their own institutions. That's something that's with the ideal of all the time. Right, so for example, I have a... Okay. Point to pro-LGBT texts. Like? Like, you know, David and Jonathan, or Ruth and Naomi, or the Talmud, the, what we said with Joe's yesterday. The rabbis were confounded, it says. The Achami weren't able to decide if it was a man or a woman. But Tum Tum is neither. Right? He doesn't, he doesn't take it to the next step, which we are in this generation, hopefully writing the third installment to the Talmud. I hope right here, right now, that these conversations are being recorded on a flip camera and will be, <laughs> and will be being redacted in a thousand years. And the third Talmud came out of the brilliant Enlightenment era of the 21st. Rose in that moment before you act. I want you to think both from your own perspective, like who you are, where you are, and also like what other what you imagine other educators will feel. And think about what are all of those thoughts going through your head that might inhibit you or prevent you from act reluctant to respond because it might jeopardize my career, whatever I say to these children. Mm. Before we shove them right into the conversation, they just did my six year old. Let's just take it down to what are your issues? What are you worried about? I get trembling for God. We'll do it. <laughs> no, I agree with you. Let's not. We, they, we can do a whole series for them, and we're having a series of workshops that we're we'll providing. But let's just address what are your fears? What's your child going to learn that's scaring you? Like, let's, let's take it down to what's your six year old freaking out about. From that, can we probably pull together? The is not enough. Inclusion doesn't mean just making somebody comfortable. And it also doesn't mean we have some programs for you and some of them not. Because would any of us be okay if they said, yeah, this program's going to be gay friendly, but this one, yeah, it kind of be a little homophobic, so you can go to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> the reason you're here is because you're like the seeds. And you're going to be able to like find other people who you can, who you can um, train and work with as allies so that the institution and your organizations take ownership of this, and it's not something coming in from the outside, it's really 